So guys, welcome back to our channel and we, um, a couple of weeks ago we did a story time about our first date. Yeah. And people really enjoyed it. And um, over the past couple of weeks I've been looking for a story that we could tell that is very interesting and funny at the same time. And our lovely daughter Aaliyah served it up on a platter. So before I um, get into the story, let me explain to you the background of the story, right? Um, Aaliyah goes to school in another city. It's about 20 miles away from where we're at, and her only job is to go to the bus stop, which is literally in front of our house, stand there, get on the bus, get off at the school. Then when she's out of school, get back on the bus and come back home. She's 13 years old, she's able to handle that. When I was 13, I caught the bus. Did you catch that's a bus? Yeah. That's just what happens. She can do that. My pet peeve is for one of them to miss the bus. Every now and then, things happen, shit happens, we understand that. Aaliyah is on what, number four? I think she never did catch the bus. Bruh. <laughs> she's, she's been in school. Honestly, I think she never did catch the bus. Bruh. She's been in school for the past three and a half months. New school, I understand at first, catching the bus could be kind of weird or whatever, but she's missed the bus at least four times. And Aaliyah isn't one of those kids who miss the bus and say, oh shit, I missed the bus, let me hurry up and, and, and call somebody so they can come pick me up. Because while she's missing the bus, calling us to pick her up, she always picks the most unpleasant, pleasant times where we're in she the- She wait till six at night when we're at dinner. When we're sitting at dinner, Eating, wondering Getting buried where she, she is. is. Then she calls and says, I missed the bus. Now, two of these times that she missed the bus is why we're here today. The first time, let me set it up for you. The first time I'm in school, it's about 7 o'clock at night. I'm in school, not supposed to have my phone, but Andrea texts um, text me. Who to text us? And, and, Andrea sends me a message saying, hey, Aaliyah's not here yet. It's 7 o'clock. I'm like, okay, maybe the bus is late or whatever. Just wait a little bit, whatever. 7.30 comes around, she texts me back, Aaliyah's still not there. 8 o'clock, 8.30, still no Aaliyah. We, um, I have the car because I'm at school in a whole other part of Germany, and she can't go out and look for it. So she asks her mother and her father, who are both over 70, to go out in the city where Aaliyah's... At, at night. At night to go find her. Yeah. Nothing. So about 9 o'clock comes around, and Aaliyah comes in like nothing happened. Go tell there. us what happened this day. Why were you six hours, four hours late coming home? Um, because I walked home. Because you what? I walked home. Now, you guys don't really understand it because you don't know how it is, but to get from our house to her school, you have to go over a top street, a, a highway, um, a freeway, and a highway. There's not like sidewalks here so she wants us to believe that she walked over 20 miles in the dark on a freeway and nobody to come on nobody noticed a child nobody nothing and she wants us to believe that why the fuck you lying why you always lying and even if she did do that which i seriously doubt that because i was in the army and i've done 20 mile ruck marches and i know how hard that is on the body and the time that it takes to do that so i personally think she was over at one of her friends houses and got a and got a ride home without asking us and she thought she could say that to make us believe us but it's so many holes in this story that i just don't understand it first hole she said that she couldn't contact us because her battery was dead. But, now tell us your magic phone. Um, the music worked. How does the music work if your battery is dead? Um, you have to cut it on when it's still 5% and then cut it, the screen off. And it lasts for three hours that you walked on. Mm hmm 5% of your battery lasts for... Let's say four hours walking on the highway, on the freeway, over bridges, <laughs> through fields, in the jungle, I don't know. And this 5% battery lasts you four hours to listen to music. You really want to tell us this? Mm -hmm. You want to tell all of our subscribers that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You must have some kind of magic phone. Now, we're the type of parents that... I wouldn't say that we're super strict, but we are strict. But if I can't prove it, I can't punish you about it, right? So we let that go. That was what, two months ago? Yeah. Now, last week, 
about 6.30, we all done, the small kids are in bed, we all about to sit down and watch something. Still wondering where Aaliyah is, she calls and says she missed the bus again. I said, I'm not going to go get her. So Andrea went to go pick her up, came back here. In the dark, in, in the, the cold, mm -hmm. in the rain. Mm -hmm. I drove to pick her up. Now, what happened? Um, my stuff got stolen. What it stuff? At my school stuff at the train station. Her, she says her backpack got stolen and her bus card was inside her backpack. So that's why she couldn't get on the bus. Because the bus driver said she can drive without the bus card. Which I can believe that. Okay. But it's Aaliyah. And I. Right. Now the next day she got to go to school. On the bus. No bus card, remember? So how you got to school? I told him that I didn't have a bus card. And he said, okay. So you drove one week without a bus card and they all said, okay. But that day they said, nope. All right. Now, fast forward a week after this happened, like I am the type of person that I may see something, but I have no proof, so I can't say anything. So I wait for the proof to happen. So a week later, Aaliyah comes home and magically she has her backpack. She didn't run home and say, hey, I have my backpack, blah, no, blah, 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 blah. It. She forgot that she lied to us yeah. that her backpack got stolen. Or maybe she think that we just dumb as shit and won't realize that this is her backpack that was supposed to be stolen. So it's just laying in the hallway. And I'm like, Andrea, this is the backpack that Aaliyah said got stolen. I don't know what Aaliyah and Andrea talked about, but Andrea said that Aaliyah said it was a different backpack. But I see them off to school every single day. So I know what backpack she had. So I'm like, Aaliyah, where's this backpack from? You said that it got stolen. And she says, this is where story time comes into. She says, Let her say it. How you got your backpack? My building called? manager found it. Where did he find it? Explain it. Explain it how you explained it to us. Okay. Um. There. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff she was doing too. Here, there. There is a little, there is woods that, that, that are not that big. There's woods, but not big woods. There's small woods with some trees. It's like six far trees. Far away from school, like 10 miles away from school. And the building manager took on his survival kit <laughs> backpack. No, he didn't know. He, either he's a survivalist who goes in the woods just to try to su survive, or he's a serial killer and he was looking for his next place to bury his body. When 10 miles... Into the woods. To the train station, into the woods. Not the big woods, the small woods with the some trees. Went in there and said, tonight I'm gonna find Aaliyah's backpack. I know it's 500 kids in the school, but I'll find her backpack. Because I know every kid and which backpack they have. And he found it. So he found the backpack and then how did he give it, give it to you? Um, when I was in school. He came to your class, he saw you in your break, or what? He, no, I went to him. <laughs> she went to him and said, Yeah, hey, Mr. Building Manager, I bet you went hunting for my backpack. No, did no. you saw it? No, what did you because say? Because then I was sick for three days, uh -huh. and then my teacher said, Are you missing something? So I said, Yes, my school stuff. And they said, Yeah, the, house, uh, the building manager has it. And. Then you, I got it. And you went to him? Mm hmm And then you said, hey, you have my backpack? No. I said, my teacher said, uh, you have some of my stuff. Then he said, yes, I do. Then he gave me that blue bag and that was my stuff inside. And mm -hmm. he said what? And then he told me where he found it. Where? And where did he find it? In the little woods. <laughs> In the little woods? Where? I don't know. There. 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 <laughs> And that's how she describes it to us, there. Now, this is what happened, because I'm not stupid, I don't think that you're stupid. Guys, this is no joke. Like, she actually really trying to tell us this story. And she won't let go of the lie. I have to go there Monday to go ask the building manager, do you know how stupid I look <laughs> going to hey, the- <laughs> Mr. Building Manager, did you went to the train station, which is 10 miles from the school, in the little woods, not, not the, the big, big woods. woods, the little woods with some trees on it, beside the train station, there, <laughs> and found Aaliyah's backpack. I know you've probably never seen her before, you have no idea who she is, but 
her backpack. You saw a, a backpack laying there and said, this must be Aaliyah's backpack. And when he look at me like I'm an idiot, I have to do all that because she won't let go of the lie. And if one thing I hate, I hate being lied to. Oh, and to put one on top of it, you all saw in the vlogs, it was snowing, it was raining, everything, but nothing happened. Nothing? It, 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 nothing. it, it rained? Must have been, it must have been that tree in that little wood. <laughs> it blocked it, right? It no backpack um, was, was wet. No books inside of it was wet. No. The whole week that she did not have her backpack, no teachers asked where her book is no. or, any, no. or anything like that. They didn't even notice. She hasn't had nothing. According to her, but the teachers didn't notice. No note home, no nothing. Nope. But this is what really happened. Her friend saw her in her break. Said, hey, you want to come over to my house? Aaliyah said, shit, I want to do that. But I know the rule is I can't just go somewhere on that day. You have to tell us at least two days before so we can plan it out. How are you going to get there? Who's going to pick you up? Why are you going there? What are you doing there? Is your homework done? Did you do good that week? It's too many questions that can go bad for her. So she said, yes, I'm going to do that. Now, she's over at her friend's house. No, no, no. Before she got over at her friend's house, she's like, how am I going to tell this to my parents without getting in trouble? Huh. I'm going to say my backpack got stolen. So she went in her school, took her backpack, threw it in the garbage can or left it in the bathroom or something like that where the building manager can find it because he manages that building. He doesn't manage the small woods over there. And that's what happened, right? Yeah. But my problem is she won't let go of the lie. So, you want to tell us the truth now? What happened? I'll even do this. Every no, I'll even do this. For this one lie, you will not get in trouble if you tell us the truth. If I really have to go there Monday morning and look him in his face and ask him if he went to the Little Woods over there and found your backpack, then I will really be angry and your punishment will be super, super bad. So, this is your one freebie if you tell us the truth. What happened? Everything I said. Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Okay, today is Saturday. I won't post this video until after I go talk to him and let you guys know the ending of it. But hey, she says that her backpack got stolen 10 miles away from the school. Somebody took, went in her backpack, looked at it, realized it was nothing that they need, threw it in the little woods, not the woods right next to where they stole it at, but the little woods there. And then her building manager, who doesn't have anything to do 15 miles away, was in the woods for some weird reason. I'm not sure if we stumbled on some serial killer or I'm not sure if he's like trying to practice for Survivor. I don't know why he was in the woods, not the big woods, the little woods. This woods. Over there. <laughs> and happened to find her backpack. You laughing. We not like, this is, the story is funny, but you in trouble. Yeah, I'm not laughing because... You're not in trouble. I'm laughing because after having six kids and me being a kid myself who lied a lot, like I thought I've heard every single variation of a lie. This is the best. This is the so best. So far, this is... And this is why you get to be on story time now because this is the best. So guys, that was our story time. Aaliyah missing the bus and she stumbled upon a serial killer or a true survivor list. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say? No. You go stick to that story. Yeah. So you go tell me first off, you missed the bus and you walked 30 miles in the dark. 20 miles. 20 miles in the dark over a highway, over a freeway, up a hill. Through the fields. In through the, the fields. Woods. In the woods at 7 o'clock at night. And then you come home and say, hey, what's up in for dinner? In two hours. And then you come home like, oh, what's for dinner? Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys, we will let you know um, what happened and hope you enjoyed this story time. Don't forget to comment below. Comment below if you believe her story. Or even comment below if you don't believe her story and let us know what you think. Or tell us some of your funny stories. With kids. With your kids. Tell us the biggest or best lie you have ever heard from one of your, your kids so we can compare notes and see who kid lies the best. <laughs> Which that was not a good lie at all. That was a t that's a terrible lie. It is. That's like the worst lie I've probably I've probably I've probably heard. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below.
Peace out.